Hello everyone and welcome back to Morgborg Tech. Here is yet again another eBay phone lot unboxing. I was telling myself that I probably wouldn't be buying another lot for a while because I wouldn't have found anything good, but lo and behold, I found this. So anyway, this is actually my most expensive phone lot yet. It's a lot of 25 phones and I paid almost $66 for this after taxes and shipping. Now, as indicated by the title, I got this lot because it came with a bunch of phones from Europe and possibly other countries. If it was just American phones in this lot and only American phones, I wouldn't have gotten this because otherwise it would have been too expensive. So without any further ado, I haven't unboxed this, I haven't taken off the tape, so I will do that on camera for us right now. So here we are. This is what I am greeted with. Bubble wrap. Let's just take this out here. And this so far appears to be presented very similarly to how my first ever phone lot was presented. Except this comes in just one bag. And so I'll start pulling out these devices and show you them. A lot of these have little labels on them, so I'll have to take them off. So, first off, here's a Sony Ericsson. Pretty interesting looking. It looks like it might be missing the camera. Kind of weird. This is on orange, and I'm pretty sure this is a K750i. Oh, actually, never mind. There is the camera. I don't know what goes here. I don't know how the battery comes out. I don't want to break this thing. I was told that all of these phones come with batteries. So hopefully that is actually true. Here is an American phone. This is an LG B470 on AT&T. This one also comes with a SIM card too, that's pretty cool. They sold these for quite a few years until I think about 2017. I think they sold them from like 2015 to 2017. They were pretty popular with the non-smartphone crowd. Here is an iPod Touch 4th generation, 32 gigabyte. I wouldn't be surprised if the screen on this thing is broken, but hopefully it isn't. Here is a Samsung Galaxy something of sorts. It might be some kind of X cover phone. As you can see, this is the GTS 7710. Moving on, here is a Verizon LG smartphone. I think this might be the LG Optimus Exceed. Or maybe not because this is an LTE phone. The VS840. Here is a Blackberry Storm. Supposedly this thing clicks in the center. That's how the touch screen works on this thing. Let's see if it has a battery. Yes it does. Moving on, here is a pretty cheap looking Samsung smartphone. 
Let's see what the model of this is, because I might know what it is if I know what the model is. This is the GTS6310N, so this is the Samsung Galaxy Young, a very cheap smartphone from 2013. Next up is a Nokia. Looks like this one is on Claro or Claro, however you say that. This battery looks like it is bloated, so that will have to go thrown out. This is the 1208. Next up is a Nokia 6102 or 6102i on singular. I actually didn't even see this in the listing, so maybe they gave this to me by accident. Yeah, this is the 6102i. I already have one of these, of course, if you saw my little short unboxing video of one I got on eBay. Here's a pretty nice looking Nokia. The back cover appears to be taped shut. So here is an LG Verizon LTE. This looks like the G2. Anyway, moving on. Here is a Phonak My Pilot. Hmm. This might not even be a phone, but I'm not sure. I know nothing about it, so I'll take a look at it later. Here is an Alcatel candy bar on AT&T. This was a GoPhone back in the day. I forget how old this is. But I've seen a few of these in the box on eBay. This is the OT510. Here's another Samsung Galaxy. Looks like another European one. GTI 8160, I think that says. With a British T-Mobile SIM card, so this is a European phone, all right. Here is an iPhone 3GS. Looks like the screen is damaged, sadly. Here's a Sony Xperia. Let's see. I think this is the LT26i. Well, it looks like this here fell off. I think that's the power button. Here is a, a, a sharp phone with a lot of stickers on it. This one is on Vodafone. This is the Sharp GZ200. Some interesting phones in here. What kind of charger does this take? I might have that. Maybe I don't though. Here is a Samsung candy bar phone. This is definitely got to be a European phone. GTE 1050V on Vodafone, of course.
Here's a Samsung. This looks pretty weird. Doesn't slide. So this might be an MP3 player. YP-T9J. Interesting. Here's an Alcatel QWERTY phone on AT&T. I think this was also a Go phone back in the day. Battery is bloated, sadly. This is the OT871. Here's a uh, Nokia on T-Mobile. This might be an American phone. This is the 1616. This is an American phone. I think not too long ago I found one of these brand new on eBay, although it got sold pretty quickly. Here's a ZTE flip phone, the symbol something. Z320, and it looks like it's on Metro PCS. Here is a Samsung Stratosphere or SCHI405. Looks like I'm down to a few phones. Here is a Motorola on orange. with a strange battery tip. This is the V220. Here is a Nokia X2. This one looks pretty nice. And here is the last phone. That so now I will get organized a bit and come back. So here are the phones a little better organized. And I will go ahead and test these off camera and make an update video when they've all been tested. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, peace.